foundation on which they can either build or have to rebuild. Holy Trinity and St. Catherine in a battle in a, this Manning Cup contest. They greet and continue with the formalities. St. Catherine I have, of course, in sky blue. A team with a lot of legacy in Jamaica, St. Catherine High, though they're only 73 years young. Our current Prime Minister, of course, a past student of St. Catherine High, there in the parish of St. Catherine, John's Road, the address. Here are the referees, Romario Francis, the man with the whistle. He's assisted by Rolanza Bennett and Jermaine Page, Stefan Duart, the fourth official by the sideline. Yeah, lots of experience between them, of course. Stefan Duar, FIFA referee. Let's have a quick look now at the Holy Trinity starting lineup. In goal, Steve Ray, Jaheel Green, Dawn Taylor, Kevin Hamilton, Ralston Baker, Tiana Vassal, Nia Walton, Yui Brown, Kami Ramsey, Romain Tomlinson, and Hosani Ennis. They're coached by Nicholas Stewart. Of course, Yui Brown have two goals, five assists, as I mentioned earlier. Also having Two goals, Hassani Ennis. They should do very well for their teams. The two captains, Yui Brown, leads the Holy Trinity team. Romain Walters, the captain for St. Catherine High. They have a Opportunity to take a picture with the referees as well. We'll put that in their album. Schoolboy football album. St. Catherine High. This is their team sheet. Omarion Brown and Goal, Lennox Lawrence, Roger Taylor, Romain Walters, Nasser Perez Henry, Nathal Ellis, Dwight Gentles, Kadeen Young, Jack Watson, Rolanda Redman, and Lavon Taylor. They're coached by Anthony Patrick. Yeah, and that's a coach of a lot of prestige, Anthony Patrick. He has done so much in the Jamaican schoolboy landscape and he's looking to take this St. Catherine team to higher heights. Already a title winner with this team, but he'll be searching for Manning Cup success this season around. Certainly has Manning Cup triumph with Bridgeport twice, 2001-2006. Would have been instrumental in harnessing talents. Um, of one of our better, more pro prolific goal scorer in the form of Darren Mattox. So it's schoolboy football action at the Anthony Spaulding Sports Complex in St. Andrew. Mario Francis with the, refer with the whistle. He's the referee today. Let's see how this one goes. Holy Trinity, St. Catherine. The referee sends the action. St. Catherine High having the early possession. They're trying to advance. Kidding Young on the ball. Now it's Nathan Ellis sends it wide. Looking for Jack Watson. Early advance. Watson is in the box. And he tries to finish, but it was a good save from Steve Ray. Averting danger, but still. Nathan Ellis, well, the referee blows the whistle. It's a free kick for Holy Trinity. And what an incisive pass that was early in the proceedings, LeJay Williams. Yeah, and that's the threat that St. Catherine hold really good down the wing areas, especially through their number 11, Jacquee Watson, or Jack Watson. Interesting name there, but they do like to get the ball in the wing areas early, as they're looking to do here as well. Here it comes. And that one was deflected out for a corner kick. Dwight Gentles, the man with the dangerous boots, getting that attempt off. And it would have been on target had it not been for the intervention of the defender there. But yeah, St. Catherine High looking the more sprightly of the two teams, as you'd have expected based on their goal scoring form. Yeah, no surprise there, actually. Here it comes, and Holy Trinity able to get it out of the box, and St. Catherine High played out 
it's now a goal kick for Holy Trinity. That's the coach there for Holy Trinity, Nicholas Stewart. Second season in charge of this team. It was a younger team last year in his first time with them. Of course, they would have been coached in prior years by Heidel's current coach, Devon Anderson, would have brought them to the Super Cup semifinals on a couple of occasions. But Nicholas Stewart trying to set his own future. Here's it, Jack Watson. Watson! sends it wide Jack Watson already showing how dangerous he can be in the early moments again he slipped through on that left hand side goes with the shot with the left foot but that one just spins wide Holy Trinity that's something that they will have to look out for for the rest of this game silencing Watson yeah, looks like it's going to be a very difficult job for them. Free kick to them just in their own half. Tiana Vassal stood behind it for a few moments, leaves it to a more defensive player. Booted upfield. That will go easily to Omari and Brown and go for St. Catherine High. Safe pair of hands. Here's St. Catherine trying to play it out of their own half. Nathan Ellis sends it forward. Again, that ball to Watson being cut out. Obviously, he's the outlet that the St. Catherine High team would look to use. Have not used the right and flank just yet. Here they come now through Kadeen Young. Rolanda Redman was also in the conversation there. Sends it out to the left and flank. Kept in by Nasser Perez Henry, but he gives it away cheaply. But he gains a throw in. Young, the intended target, it comes to Young. Kadeen Young was trying to send it across the area, but played it out instead. Again, that right-hand side of the defense. As we see Anthony Patrick there. I mentioned him being someone of a lot of prestige in the schoolboy game, looking to lead this St. Catherine team to glory. We hear that right-hand side of the defense for... Holy Trinity proving to be a leaky spot. St. Catherine focusing a lot of their attacks down that side. Might be something that they may have premeditated coming into this game. It certainly appears that way. It's a throw in for Holy Trinity. take it under lots of pressure trying to boot it up but St. Catherine with possession now Young trying to play through Watson Watson it through good defensive work that from Joan Taylor for Holy Trinity averting the danger yeah, and winning a goal kick in the end but yet again it's only a little less than six minutes into the game and already we're seeing that St. Catherine looking to really push their left hand side, the right hand side of Holy Trinity back as they win the ball here again. Rushed a bit there by their talisman Dwight Gentles. Ambitious shot that from Lennox Lawrence, easily held by Steve O'Ray. Here's Holy Trinity trying to play out under some amount of pressure there. Romine Tomlinson able to get it off. They continue to advance and they play it out. Yeah, 
Walters, the captain. Back to his goalkeeper, Brown. Free kick that in the center circle for Holy Trinity. Hoist it up. Marion Brown, happy to have that one go out of touch. Well, the conditions certainly a bit warm, and I'm being very mild when I say warm, Lejay. And it, it takes a lot of fitness to be able to really compete at a high tempo with the weather conditions. I'm sure they would mind more significant cloud coverage. But from a neutral perspective, I definitely like the sun. It augurs well for the next match. Well, I was, uh, I was wondering if you were speaking about the players only when you said that it requires a lot, because I think it requires a lot from us as well. Here in the commentary booth. Well, yeah, definitely rough on the players. This 1.30 kickoff, but it's certainly not affecting St. Catherine too much as they're here on the attack again. Here's Young. Young, surrounded by three players, loses possession, but it's still with St. Catherine. Through Henry. Nasser Perez Henry has a lot of space. Finds Young. Redman has switched flanks, it seems, with Watson. And that one comes in, and it should have been finished. And St. Catherine there not being as decisive as they really should have been. That ball coming to Jack Watson should have really punished that keeper and the defense for Holy Trinity. Perhaps too ambitious. Huey Brown there. Two goals to his name. Trying to add another one. That from distance. I'm sure you have all the XG factor right there in your brain for a strike like that, Leger Williams. Yeah, that one's very close to zero, is all I can say. <laughs> as close as he can get. <laughs> Rather calm, perhaps going to church after this one. <laughs> Nicholas Stewart. In this warm weather, you hardly have a throw over, but hey, he's able to manage. A bit more relaxed is Anthony Patrick. A bit more casual in his attire. down there has to be K. Dean Young being attended to by the medical staff of St. Catherine High School <laughs> Alex Lawrence there having a period of stretching Here comes the free kick. Comes to Redman. Redman. Must be a period of miscommunication between himself and Dwight Gentles. Gentles looking at him, wondering what was he trying. Yeah, I think there was a, I don't want to say a bit too much force. There's a lot, much too much force on that one. 
for the Trinity under pressure there. They managed to clear Nathal Ellis. Take that appearance. Henry getting the rebound for St. Catherine. It's with the captain now. Romain Walters loses possession. They regain it now. St. Catherine. Trinity they really haven't been able to string a great number of passes together St. Catherine their pass accuracy definitely needs a bit more uh, a touching up to say the least they have been wasteful in their build-up unforced errors let's see if they can make amends now Redman turns gentles now tries to step over goes into traffic recycles now back to young sir Perez Henry tries to go forward here's Redman Redman blocked equal to the task was uh, remain Tomlinson there it's a throwing though for St. Catherine high The captain Walters. And yeah, that's been the honor of the day. Quite a few XG defiant shots. Yeah, but I think for that one, he was caught in two minds whether to put in a cross or a shot. And then chose neither. Trinity trying to get the ball out of the danger area. Young there. Good defensive work against from again from Tomlinson. Tiana Vassal trying to get away from two. He gets the return ball. Was trying to stab it forward for Huey Brown, but played it out of touch. Huey Brown didn't really mind the attempt. the foul there Huey Brown still down after that challenge seemingly got a blow to the head area neck area maybe even uh, it looks as if it's his shoulder actually Huey Brown that's a player that Holy Trinity would not want to lose at this juncture they haven't been getting too much offense going at this point and to take away their main offensive threat in this game yeah it wouldn't be too positive for them but it remains to be seen how serious that injury is I'm sure this break is welcomed by both teams. A little mini water break. And they definitely need it. Yeah, he's been attended to. Yeah, see them pouring water on their head, ensuring that they cool down. So he's up, and that must be a relief to the entire Holy Trinity team, especially Coach Stewart. Just waiting for the resumption of play. Quite windy here. Yeah. 
Perhaps it was an awkward fall more than anything else. Free kick taken. Played out by the defensive unit of St. Catherine. They tried to break now. Opt in for short passes. Looking for gentles now. Cut out by Holy Trinity. Kami Ramsey. Playing it up. Looking for Hassani and it's Tomlinson. Player being summoned from the bench. Could be that Huey Brown. Brown will seemingly be substituted, yeah? Yeah, and I was saying that that's not something that Holy Trinity would have wanted, and that's probably the worst possible thing that could have happened for them at this juncture in the game. Only 18 minutes in, losing your main attacking threat against a team that seemed to be in full control of you already, as St. Catherine are right now. Watson was trying to send that into the area, went a bit wide. St. Catherine now has to recycle. Levon Taylor back now to the captain Walters. He has two goals, even from his defensive position. Ellis from distance. Ellis! Nathan Ellis! Forget about XG! Forget about expected goals! No one would have expected such a strike from that area! But Nathan Ellis. He had his own plans in the day. And what a strike. And Anthony Patrick and the entire St. Catherine High School fraternity, they're rejoicing at that one. Yeah, Nathal, Eli Nathal Ellis, he was controlling the game, controlling the game. St. Catherine were probing. But he just decided to take over and hit a thunderous strike. He left Ray with no chance, actually. That, one was, that ball was moving all over the place. And now it's going to be a really tall order for Holy Trinity to get back into this one. Based on the run of play, it was already a tall order. It was, it's a taller order. <laughs> and I tell you, it can only grow in confidence, or they can only grow in confidence in St. Catherine High. And I'm always glad when defensive midfielders pull something like that out of their locker because... You, you know, Dean, I'm usually in charge of choosing the man of the match, and in the first 20 minutes, he has been the player that has been standing out to be just his calmness on the ball, how he's been controlling the tempo. He did something uncharacteristic a while ago by letting loose, and there he is again, by letting loose and letting go that shot, but I think he's been playing really well, but usually I'm fought out because of the attacking players. I'm really glad that he has that goal contribution to kickstart this game. So hopefully by the end of it, Kimani will have a chance to talk to him as the man of the match. Here's Watson. I can say some more about that comment, but I'll, I'll wait. Here's Watson. Still Watson! He gets it in! Stephen Ray, but the fingers! A bit of skill, a bit of hesitation, but the finish came in the end. And Watson doubles it. St. Catherine High School's advantage in this fixture. And I tell you what, if he continues, Nathan Ellis might not have a lot to say in the conversation, Lejay. Well, you may be right about that one, Dean, because Watson has been probing, has been creating havoc down that left-hand side for almost all of the game so far. But he did more than create havoc on that occasion. It was mesmerizing skill, and there was a finish to match. Maybe Ray could have done better. But he got that one on target. It was always going to be difficult. And speaking of difficult, yeah, Holy Trinity, they're going to have a difficult time. An even more difficult time now to get back into this one. And here they go again. Lawrence. Lawrence. Still Lawrence. He was trying the cheeky finish there. Steve Ray says no. But danger. Not yet fully averted. The attempt! Oh my! Steve Ray was out of position. Katie Young saw it and fired from perhaps the same range as the earlier goal from Nathan Ellis. 
And had it had a bit more power, you reckon that Stephen Ray would have been beaten the third time this afternoon. Yeah, and you know the saying, when it rains, it pours. Obviously, there's no rain here. Well, Probably none please, in sight, but... Please, please don't <laughs> mention rain just yet. <laughs> but yeah, it's... it's uh, I'm sure Ch Holy Trinity wouldn't want to hear that either because it might be raining in goals for them, for St. Catherine soon. Header goes up, played out. Alice was there. So, the change being made is there. Huey Brown coming off. And incidentally, the St. Catherine High School nurse was actually attending to him, ensuring that he would have been a bit better, though unable to continue in the game. So, kudos to the Karate. And the grace being extended from the St. Catherine High School school nurse. But yeah, it was in a, that time that that goal was scored. It's a water break, as you see on the screen. Yeah, quite a few spectators coming in from St. Catherine High. They're all over. Yeah, they are, a, they are a very well-supported bunch. And speaking of well-supported, we are well-supported by Kimanyo Sullivan, who is on the sidelines. Let's get a report of that Huey Brown injury. Thank you, Lijay. Huey Brown, it's, a, it's suspected that Huey is suffering from a dislocated shoulder. As you said, a welcomed sight for the St. Catherine nurse to be working on him. She's been working it out consistently. Still some discomfort, but they fear the worst. It's a dislocated shoulder. That's it from me. Thank you so much, Kimani. Well, not for that news, but the fact that you were able to provide it, we certainly wish him a speedy recovery, Yui Brown. Here's St. Catherine. Two goals to the good in the 25th minute. Controller, the man that perhaps already there's a liking being exhibited from his efficiency, his tempo, his control by LeJ Williams. Here's Watson. Watson trying to use his skill, dispossessed. Oh, he gets the return of skill. Final pass was wayward. Here's Ellis, Young. Young turns inside. He loses out now. Trying to counter his Holy Trinity. Peter Bennett, the substitute for Yui Brown. Losing possession there. Here again. Gets with St. Catherine that ball. Wayward. The pass poor there from Holy Trinity. Watson to Henry. Henry's touch was a bit excessive. Bennett. Very calm. I think that one is called against Nathal Ellis. Of course, he's the only Ellis brother who has represented St. Catherine and has been successful for St. Catherine as well. His brother had represented the school the past couple of seasons. Quite the player he was. Mikai Ellis. Shot coming from Holy Trinity, but that one's not going to test Amarian Brown in the St. Catherine goal. I went to watch the Mona versus St. Catherine game last week that ended 
2-1 in the favor of Mona High. And it must be said that Marion Brown is someone who really stood out to me. And it made me very happy, actually, because I think the standard of goalkeeping from a youth level, from a schoolboy level, from what I've seen this season, last season, I think is really improving. Many young goalkeepers at these schools showing a lot of quality what from a very it, young age. What do you think accounts for that? I, I think maybe just an improvement in the coaching all around. Yeah, and goalkeeper coaches being employed is not only the, you know, having one coach to cover all. You have coaches that cover all areas. You have your attack coach, your defense coach. There are certain schools that have coaches for each third, actually, in the, in, on the field. So I think just more attention to detail. I think that's really helping out in the Jamaican game right now. And also, I think the evolution of keepers generally in the world. I know just mimicking that, I think, will always lead to an improvement. It will always filter down. And I think that's what's happening now. I would imagine Jamaica. that the rise of the, the sweeper keeper, the more ball handling keeper, would have given a lot more players a, a, a desire to be in that position, knowing that it's not just uh, handling the ball, but yeah. you know they can actually demonstrate their own foot skills as well. Yeah, I agree with that. But I think that there's also an improvement on the just the general confidence and ball handling of keepers. So often, as you would know, as I'm sure a lot of the viewers would know, as well as being fans of schoolboy football over the years, we've seen even some of the best teams in the competition, when they get to the latter stages, sometimes their keepers let them down by silly mistakes, which happens, of course, but at some times it seems as if the keepers aren't ready or they don't match up to the quality of the team generally. And here's Ellis again speaking of quality. He's dispossessed on this occasion. Try to come forward. Holy Trinity, Tiana Vassal was in the thick of things. Also, Neo Walton, they still have it. Vassal loses possession. Comes back to Holy Trinity. They swing it to the right hand flank. Advancing, looks to be Cami Ramsey. Sends it across. Amarian Brown. Yeah, he's extremely commanding, extremely confident in net. Brown. Young, fortuitously that held its its run. Plays it now to Watson. Watson advancing a dangerous era, sends it across. Dwight Gentles was trying to get at the end of it. But that indeed went out. 16 years. This young this youngster. Dwight Gentles, 11 goals. Certainly in the conversation among the top scorers so far. Here they come again. Gentles turns. Gentles still has it. Plays it to Young. Shot from Lawrence. Deflection took it out of the path of Stephen Ray. Kelvin Ham Kevin Hamilton there. A crucial... It really wasn't a head. I touched his head. <laughs> That intervention was very necessary because that shot from Lennox Lawrence, who loves to come forward, it must say, it really was going on target, I would imagine. Yeah, more danger on the mind of St. Catherine. Watson now going over to swing in this corner. Here it comes. Looks to be Gentles was on the end of that one. Trying to glance it, but that went up and over. It's a goal kick for Holy Trinity. Here they come again. Henry. Henry. Young. Holy Trinity. Countering through Vassal. Still Vassal. 
Still a vassal. Ramin Walters did well to dispossess him. Tell you what, he was certainly going for something special, the vassal. Redman turns inside, tries to play to Gentles. Gentles gets by one. Gentles releases a Steve Array, equal to the task. Read the ball well there, Lawrence. Well, yeah, it's been that kind of day. Yeah, a lot of the crosses haven't been connecting, but they still have done enough, created enough chances to be ahead, and they are ahead 2 0, St. Catherine. It definitely doesn't look like they're done there. How attacking they've been so far. Getting by is Cami Ramsey. Can't get by the other. It is a throw in though for Holy Trinity. Walton to Vassal. Vassal dispossessed. Ellis in the defensive area as well. Here's Redman now. As they try to transition. Redman receives it back in the center. Lavon Taylor trying to direct traffic. Gets it to Young. Young tries to flick it on, but that was cut out. Good intention that to bring Bennett into the play, but Ramin Walters read it well and was able to push it forward now. Lawrence tries to bring Gentles in. Gentles with a good first touch. Gentles is able to finish on the rebound. The first touch was brilliant from his head down. Steve Ray was able to stop the initial attempt. But Gentles, uh, there was nothing gentle as he continued with Fury. Three goals to St. Catherine. They're large and in charge here. Goal number 12 for this young man. And he's only 16. Nicholas Stewart, dejected and seemingly battered. Yeah, St. Catherine already matching their total of goals from the first time these two teams met. 3-0 now in the first half. And if St. Catherine are oh, scoring some first goals, touch. Wow. Oh, it was brilliant. And if St. Catherine are scoring goals, you know that this man is going to be involved. That's persistence. And Dwight Gentles has put St. Catherine now 3-0 ahead over Holy Trinity. Yeah, goals the 19th, 21st, and 35th minute. He's down though. He's being treated by the medical staff, Dwight Gentles. His composure though in taking down that ball. You have to that, that, that there are some instincts, some some traits that are really innate. It can be developed by coaching, but certainly that level of composure. There must be something about him. Look at this again. Yeah, beautifully done. Yeah, that's a finish. Though the save was in, or the, the, the attempted save was initially made, he was really able instinctively to continue. And yeah, goal number 12. Not sure where the damage was done. Perhaps in all of that twisted and turning. Yeah, maybe a, a bit of exhaustion as well. You didn't mention the heat. A few St. Catherine players down, actually. I don't think they're getting battered and bruised out there because Holy Trinity can barely lay a finger on them. But yeah, taking a bit of time. Let's see, we've already lost one important attacking player. That's Ewe Brown of Holy Trinity. Hopefully, Dwight Gentles will be okay to continue. 
They won't want to risk him, however. This game seemingly already wrapped up. So let's see how Anthony Patrick and his coaching staff deal with this one. I'm not sure he'd want to come off now because there is, especially in the minds of youngsters, a desire to rack up as much goals as is possible. And having gone 12 now this in this early in the season, I can imagine that he tell the nurse, nurse, I'm, I'm okay to go. Here's Redman. Forced a bit wide, trying to get forward. Still a red man. Yeah. It's going for the sand dunes. See the pyramids there. If you call this Egypt, you can understand why the surface is so good. There's a uh, an underbedding of sand to ensure that water is able to pass through the surface. So yeah. Some technology, some science, some wisdom being applied, certainly from the ground staff here at the Tony Spalding Complex. Here's Holy Trinity. Well, it's been that kind of day. They have really not been afraid to shoot from distance. And some have been wonderful attempts, and some have been, well, Hardly an attempt. Redman. Henry. That was really poor from Henry. Redman was there waiting for the return ball. Taylor. Redman on the end of that one from Young. Redman. Defensive coverage there was sufficient to hold him off. He was trying to get around his marker. But Neil Walton was equal to the task. Marion Brown came out and allowed it to go back. Taylor plays it up to Redman. Gentles back on the park finds Redman just outside the 18 yard box. Gentles! Wow! Instinctive strike there! And Steve Ray had to have a firm hand, a firm body behind that one. And you get the picture that all those 11 goals are certainly based, even from the fan goal we saw earlier, certainly no fluke. What a strike, what an attempt that was from Gentles. Yeah, he snatched that one out of the air, Gentles. But well, I think this is a really good save by Ray. Came to him really quickly. Got his body behind the ball, got his hands there as well. And has been his best performance so far in the Holy Trinity goal, Ray. But that save was certainly impressive. Here's a corner kick. Running away from goal, but played out by St. Catherine. Watson there with Young. Now releasing. Looks to be Watson. Watson with a burst of speed. Good defensive work that. That actually was Redman. But yeah, good defensive work from Kevin Hamilton. Playing that out. It's a corner kick for St. Catherine High. Yeah. 
in swinging. Young on the end of it. To the netball and basketball court. Remember seeing the Holy Trinity team last season. And just from the eye test, they seem to be a, a better unit, even though the goal score the, the, the goal score line rather doesn't reflect that. Just the eye test tells me that they've really been some work in improving the quality of their play. Yeah, they did start the season with two losses, but have improved winning their last two games coming into this one, Holy Trinity. But it's always going to be tough when you're facing one of the better teams as they try to launch an attack. And yeah, one of the better teams in the competition, I think, really, in St. Catherine. I know many people probably think that Mon are one of, if not the standout team in the Manning Cup this year, and I saw St. Catherine go toe to toe to them with them. Really nothing to choose between either team. Excelsior High here to I'm not going to say watch out the opposition, but they do have a bit of a rivalry with St. Catherine over the years, <laughs> recent years. Excelsior. Early. But yeah, they're here early for mm -hmm. their encounter versus St. Andrew Technical. Yeah, really comfortable for St. Catherine so far. It has, it's, has, it's really been that way so far this season. Almost halftime in this now their fifth game. 24 goals scored. Only two conceded and two of those goals came against Mona. Holy Trinity looking to launch an attack. but um, Marion Brown there. Yeah. Coming out with confidence, as you mentioned, about his composure as a goalkeeper. Here's Holy Trinity once more. Ramsey. He's trying to find Hassani Ennis, the two-goal man. But that was overcooked and easily held by Omari and Brown. Here's St. Catherine trying to play out from the back. Ellis. He opened goal scoring for St. Catherine. He's trying to connect with Redman. And there's a consistent interchange between Redman and Watson. The wingers are for St. Catherine High. I think. There is a, a significant tilt, and, and I'm using that very carefully. A, a tilt towards the left of, of, of the attacking third for St. Catherine High. We definitely saw that early. Player is down only two minutes of added time. Already the first minute of the two has been elapsed. Henry. Still Henry. Loses possession. Vassal. Cammy Ramsey. Fassel trying to find Ennis, but Cammy Ramsey is down. Referee looking at his watch for Mario Francis. Well, he blows the whistle for the half. 
a half which really saw one-way traffic and one direction especially in terms of goals St. Catherine High adding to their excellent goal scoring form three goals to the good ahead of Holy Trinity and that courtesy of goals in the 19th 21st and 35th minute two of the scorers on your screen Dwight Gentles and Jack Watson yeah it's been an impressive performance from them it's half time here at the Tony Spotting Sport Complex is a schoolboy football man in cup action St. Catherine 3, Holy Trinity nil. SSFL Premiership on Sports Max 2. Naparima College versus St. Benedict's College live Wednesday, 2.30 p.m., 3.30 in the rest of the Caribbean. Europa League on the Sports Max 2. Real Betis versus Sparta Prague Thursday, 11.45 a.m., 12.45 in the rest of the Caribbean. Also in the Europa League, Liverpool versus Union Song Gilois. Thursday, 2 p.m., 3 in the rest of the Caribbean, and Roma versus the Survey. Thursday, 2 p.m., 3 in the rest of the Caribbean. All that on Sportsmax and Sportsmax 2, respectively. Yeah, we're getting ready for second half action in this zone E encounter. The Manning Cup, Holy Trinity, trailed by three goals. Tenil versus St. Catherine High and uh, they are looking to compound pressure on a team that has already had mixed fortunes so far Holy Trinity let's see how they can recover let's see how the next half will go for them a shot of Stephen Ray there in goal as we get ready for the second half kickoff Romaro Francis sends it off and here come Holy Trinity Captain Armband and now with Darwin Taylor for Holy Trinity. Of course, in the first half, their captain, Huey Brown, had to be substituted. Dislocated shoulder.
Here comes St. Catherine. Redman! Tell you, a cheer from one of our cameramen almost flew off the scaffolding. And it is utmost discipline on his part because he would have certainly seen that ball come in and not sure if it would have come to him. <laughs> A lot of times you just have to be brave in certain professions. Our cameramen are some of the bravest around. Holy Trinity, they need bravery. And only the best will be good enough. Redman playing it through. That's Young. Trying to get on the score sheet is Young. Had a snap effort that would have, with a bit more power, perhaps would have beaten goalkeeper Ray. But equal to the task in holding him off is Ralston Baker. And the referee says that Kadeen Young would have fouled Baker. It's a free kick for Holy Trinity. Put to the field, Hassani Ennis trying to have some interplay with Vassal, Vassal, Keanu Vassal. Losing possession. Here's St. Catherine through Redman. Ellis, controller in the middle of the park. Here's Watson, getting by two. Watson sends it in. Steve Array was in position. It's a new half, but it's the same tactic by St. Catherine going down that left-hand side. And it looks as if they're still going to get a lot of success doing it. They were stopped that time. The one Taylor getting across for Holy Trinity. Throwing for St. Catherine. Taking quickly the throw. Holy Trinity. To their credit, they're not panicky even though the clearances aren't well here's Redman got in in the half space but couldn't get the telling ball to the striker there Dwight Gentles Taylor to Lawrence Henry there was waiting for the call he knew that that was a handball. Here they come. Watson certainly has a lot of speed. And the referee points to the spot. Watson. Brought down. Yeah. Neil Walton there, the guilty party, trying to hold off the pacey Watson. And let's see who st steps forward for the penalty. Seems as if it's going to be Romain Walters, captain of St. Catherine High, looking to score his third goal of the season. Put St. Catherine 4 0 up. The whistle blows. Walters. Saved by Ray. He was way too calm, was Walters. He's asking, what's the problem? Perhaps I would have imagined a bit more rejoicing on his part, but we all have a different temperaments. Here's a look at it again. It was way too calm was Walters. And when you have a team down, you should really keep them down. It only takes a spark as they sing. I'm sure you know that one all the way back from Sunday school, Lejay. <laughs> 
It only nah, 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 oh, please nah, don't nah, sing. Nah, 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 but yeah, that is the right way to approach it. It is a good save by Ray, but I do think that the penalty was too central by Walters. And too nonchalant as well, as you mentioned. Maybe Holy Trinity can use it as a catalyst, a spark, as you mentioned, to get back into this game. But it's still going to be a tall, tall ask. Especially with this man controlling things, Ellis. Ever in a pocket to receive as he does here. Ellis. Step it forward. It's now with Lawrence. Finding Redman. Redman in the half space sends it across. The header brought back into position. Young couldn't get a, a telling connection to that one. Player left down for Holy Trinity. Delightful ball. Gentles, I believe, did well to bring it back into prime territory. But good defensive work there, stopping the threat of Young. And you can see the eagerness on his part to get on the score sheet. Von Taylor. It's with Lawrence. Lawrence did well to get it to Gentles. Gentles sends it across. Too nonchalant there from St. Catherine High. They had the right build up, but a lot of con a, a lack of conviction in the finish. Lawrence, they really should have done better. Look at the give and go between himself and Gentles. Yeah, he really wasn't as aggressive as he needed to have been. Good defensive work too from Holy Trinity. But I think Lawrence should have really been in a better position. So Stephen Ray being spared a bit of blushes so far. Saving a penalty. In one instance, and also seen a few attempts of from St. Catherine High not being capitalized on as I think they really should have been. Here's the corner kick, comes in, headed out by Doan Taylor. And the St. Catherine barrage continues. Another corner coming up, a couple of substitutes being readied by Holy Trinity in the meanwhile. I don't think they'll come on before the corner as is a unspoken rule in football. But they're waiting, they're ready. So to the St. Catherine attackers, Holy Trinity attackers, St. Catherine with six corners to the one for Holy Trinity. But let's see what kind of delivery can be placed in here. Young to take the corner for St. Catherine. Swings in. And Dowan Taylor again getting his body in the way. And they booted clearance some distance away. So Cami Ramsey for sure will come off. For Holy Trinity, that's Ramsey. Already has a goal this season, and in comes Jamar Rowe. Also, coming into the field, number 13, Alex Wilson, and off is the two gold man Hassani Ennis.
There's a corner kick for St. Catherine. Another in swinger. Headed out. Again by here is Holy Trinity. Ducks to be Wilson. Make that roll. Wasn't ready, it seems, for it. Over dribbled. He realized really early on that he didn't have the pace to go around. Still tried it. But bright moment for Holy Trinity there. Although they weren't able to make the best of it. Here's a bright moment for St. Catherine. Here they come. Young. Good defensive work. That from Dowan Taylor. Still. Gentles now. Sends it in. Looking for Redman, but that was cut out effectively by Holy Trinity. Patient in getting the ball out. Here's another substitute. He is a first half substitute, Peter Bennett. Tiana Vassal there. Tiana Vassal, rather, fouled by. Rajay Taylor, so make that Ellis. Baker behind this free kick for Holy Trinity. Hoist it up. Easily handled by the defense. It's with Redman now. Still in a dangerous position. St. Catherine. Few step overs, step overs from Watson. Gets in the area again. And uh, Holy Trinity able to clear. Romain Tomlinson to row. Got the return ball from Neil Walton. Did row. St. Catherine. Young. Still young. Solid defensive work there from Walton. Gets the throw in, goes the other way. A few players down for St. Catherine. And the bench of Holy Trinity a bit furious. They took the throw in very quickly and they wanted to capitalize. The assistant coach there, not particularly pleased with that. So, look at some of these spectators, a few journalists and coaches from elsewhere as well. No, I saw New Oxford there. Certainly a part of the Kingston College staff as a goalkeeper coach last season. Not sure if he's back there this season. Yeah, he isn't with them anymore. A lot of change in that Kingston College coaching department. Devon, Devon Anderson has on the legend shirt. Former Holy Trinity coach now with Heidel. And he certainly is a legend to Holy Trinity. What he did with their program led them to a lot of success in relation to their program call it 2012 and beyond 
went to the Champions Cup final, two Manning Cup semi-finals as well. Some deep Walker Cup runs also, so he's a legend to Holy Trinity and their program. Can't help them here, though. Here's Gentles. Gentles! He falls! Seems to be in a bit of cramp, but he certainly is an incisive striker. In the midst of cramp, was able to keep his composure and finish. 13 goals this season, Dwight Gentles. I wonder if they named him after Dwight York. Dwight, actually. Well, he's certainly finishing like it. Really good work. As you mentioned, being instinctive, he knew what the defender was going to do. Was in the right place. Popped up. Good finish also with his weaker foot. Suffered a bit of cramp after the finish, but he's back up and running. And I know he's going to be hungry for his hat trick. Yeah, I don't think that Holy Trinity and their coaching staff will be too pleased who would be in a situation like this. St. Catherine already denied their fourth earlier, but they have it now. It's St. Catherine four, Holy Trinity nil. 62 minutes, 28 plus stoppage time left. How much will St. Catherine get? Let's see. How much will he get, Dwight Gentles? 13 goals this season so far. Three assists as well. So he contributes as well. Here's Holy Trinity. Bennett trying to work with Wilson. Wilson, the substitute, sends it to Vassal. Vassal from distance. Some distance away from the goal as well. Yeah, that's what Holy Trinity has been limited to so far today. But yeah, Dwight Gentles, what a season he's having so far. 13 goals. And this is fifth game of the season. Here he comes again. And considering that he didn't score in one of those games. Wow. He's really going at a rate of nuts in the games that he does score in. Yes, Redman. His strikes have always been intercepted for some reason or another. That's about his third intercepted strike, Redman. Get to get on the score sheet today. Get to get on the scoring card at any point in time, really. Only an assist to his name. St. Andrew Technical seemingly coming in the the venue as well. Celsius, they're getting ready to to warm up. Watson takes his in swing in corner, headed away from the area. Young to recycle now. Tried to get it in the area, but it was played out for another corner kick. Should be about eight by my count could be more Here the corner kick comes At the back post was Ellis Waited to get on the end of it, but headed down and out. Again, to the credit of Holy Trinity, they really haven't been doing any long balls, just trying to get it out of the area. They've stuck to some form of sequence in build-up hasn't really been very effective and productive but sticking by the plan is always a mark of development 
it is a young team as their fan mentioned as their coach mentioned so sticking with a plan is very impressive it seems as if they're buying into what their coach is selling Nicholas Stewart it doesn't have to bear fruit this season but eventually if and when it does oh there's a substitution actually Lennox Lawrence making his way off number two for St. Catherine Ronaldo Stewart a man that has a goal and two assists this season for St. Catherine coming on Ellis again ah, he has a knock yeah the technique on some of these strikes swerving away from Ray in the Holy Trinity net another sub here Lamar Ellis coming in for Nasir Paris Henry we're going to have another water break here halfway through the second half yeah so bit of cloud coverage they certainly don't have the meteorological skill of Chris Taylor to discern whether or not there will be rain but I certainly have a prayer and a hope that there will be none yeah I grew up in Spanish town and my specific section we don't get much rain so I'm not quite the person to discern whether or not we're going to get some but I'm hopeful that it will stay away and even if it does come it doesn't impede the game this game or the one that we have coming up right after I, I hope you don't start singing either because that might be a, a cue for it that's Ellis that's the first goal this is a run from Watson and what a run it was had time to look up see if a pass was better opted to go for goal the far triangle rattled what a finish this was what a first touch Dwight Gentles his first of the afternoon and it could be a worrying trend after a goal there is some amount of discomfort it happened in the first half it happened there in the second his second goal but he's still on the park now happily for him and for St. Catherine four goals yeah you see the youthfulness on his face yeah stats they have a knack of making it to the semi-finals they've been at every semi-final since 2017 how about that for consistency St. Andrew Technical Excelsior well they haven't had that vein of form in recent years but among the teams to have won this trophy the Manning Cup on a multiple occasions is Excelsior seven Manning Cups, seven Walker Cups for Excelsior. Jaheel Green came off for Holy Trinity. And Lawrence Mohaland came on, that's the number 19 player. at the number 18 Mahaland so just about 20 minutes left in regulation time Holy Trinity would definitely want to keep it the score lines as is it certainly would be good to get into a rhythm beautiful touch by Ronaldo Stewart Redman sends it across Ended up being a, an attempt rather than a cross. Steve Murray there playing it out. An 
another corner kick for St. Catherine High. Here it comes. Getting on the end of that one. It was Ellis yet again. Yeah. Not for the first time he's gotten on the end of one of those corners. Looking to increase his goal tally not only in the game but, but for the season as well. Got his first earlier, Ellis. And I was very confident that his performance maybe would have put him deep in the conversation for another match. But I think a couple of his teammates have I'm not sure if they heard me or what, but <laughs> they certainly put their names in there as well. If not pass him out even. But we'll save that conversation for another 15 minutes or so. Still a lot of action to come here. Another goal on his part would certainly bring him in pole position. I would agree with you. Here's Trinity. Holy Trinity getting their first the shot on target. Was a tame effort from Jamar Rowe, the substitute. Oh, a bit of skill there. And the jungle erupts. Here's Gentles. Cut out by Taylor. Vassal under pressure from Gentles. Here comes the St. Catherine once more. Kevin Hamilton. St. Catherine still has possession. Gentles down on the sideline. St. Catherine still keeping. Ball in play. Yeah, once more he's been attended to. Cramps again. Oh, yeah. Oh, we love that from Watson, don't we? Would love another look. I'm sure I'm not the only one. <laughs> yeah, we can watch those type of skills all day. St. Catherine. Stewart. Still Stewart. Young. Levon Taylor was trying to get at the end of that one from Young. Call the Trinity defensive line equal to the task. Call the Trinity playing that one short. And, uh, take their time and advance, but yet again, St. Catherine. Ellis looking to pierce the back line. Here's another look for St. Catherine. Getting around is Young. Stabs it back. Beautifully done. Watson on the back post is Stewart. Oh, a beautiful team goal. The substitute has come on to make a difference. Not that there was any danger of losing this one from four goals to the good. But there's always a benefit when the goals keep piling in. And that man has a lot to consider, Lejay Williams. Look yeah, at this, that ball. Yeah, this goal was excellently crafted. Pretty back heel, pretty cross, deft header to complete the finish. Ronaldo Stewart, right place, right time. I think that was a really well-coached goal by St. Catherine. And right now, they're just playing some lovely football. They're enjoying it. And who wouldn't be 5-0 up over Holy Trinity? So, has two assists. And now he has two goals, Ronaldo Stewart. He continues to impress. Here they come again. Watson was brought down, but play on, says the referee. Under pressure is Tomlinson. Ellis there, easy and 
Com. Good turn that. Watson. Getting by two. Young. Back to Watson. Mahaland equal to the task to keep him at bay. About to see a host of changes for St. Catherine. Three of them, in fact. Danger man, Jack Watson, making his exit. Coming in for him is Givens. Also going to see Kyron Gordon coming in for Dwight Gentles. Dwight Gentles not going to get the chance to get his hat trick. And then we're going to see Wayne Wilshire coming as well. Automatically on corner duty. Let's see what he can serve up. Delivery. Wasted there. Vassal tries to outpace Young. Here's Ellis. Ellis, still Ellis, Ellis! He's hearing you. He's hearing you rooting for him, LeJay Williams. Yeah, he's certainly going for that second goal. Hasn't been a goal scoring force this season. Coming into this game, didn't have one. Got one early, and since then, here they come again. Young. Oh, Redmond. It's been that kind of afternoon for him. Yeah, but he should have put that one on a plate for one of his teammates. Yeah, and she's upset as well. No, Redmond. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our camera, our camera team, they're the best. <laughs> Here's Holy Trinity in their own half. Holy Trinity trying to advance. Captain Walters equal to the task. That Rajay Taylor now with the captain's armband. Another substitution being made. Tomlinson coming off. Remain Tomlinson. Rashane Buckham coming on for Holy Trinity. That in the 80th minute. Here they come against St. Catherine. Ellis. Wilshire was trying to turn him. Played out. Ellis takes the throw quickly. Deep in the area. Stewart trying to get on the end of that one. Out of touch for a goal kick. Just under 10 minutes in regulation time. I'm going to make a fair assumption maybe that we won't see too much stoppage time. Well, it, I guess it depends how merciful the 
ref is feeling today. But yeah. I'm sure Holy Trinity would want to be put out of their misery. Has been the best of afternoons for them. Playing it out for a corner kick there was Baker. Did well to hold it in the corner, but uh, the pressure of St. Catherine there ultimately becoming his undoing. Just to four of that picture. St. Andrew technical warming up. Header on goal! And it's in! Nathan Ellis once more in the right area and i tell you what the conversation continues and what a performance he's put on that's his third header and finally gets it on target from a corner kick has really been effective and efficient in getting in the right areas yeah he knows the field very well legit williams yeah i'm sure the coaching staff of saint catherine will be very very happy after this performance not only because of the six goals but also because of the execution of plans clear plans by them from minute one we saw them invading down that left hand side and from every corner it seems nathal ellis has been there winning it and finally has gotten his goal from a corner to show for it his second goal of the game from defensive midfield complete performance from saint catherine's number eight Yeah. Well, it's Domino's time. Six goals to St. Catherine. Can they go to seventh heaven? Here they come again. Boot it up. Taylor did well there. Frita also there. Ellis now. Ubiquitous. Redman. He's kept on the park. Perhaps there's a, a hope for redemption for him or from for him from the coaching staff. Has done well, Redman. Final touch has been lacking. On the other end they come. Put it out. Here they come against St. Catherine. Vassal. Attempted shot from distance from Kyron Gordon. Taylor. Ellis spreads it wide. Lamar Ellis. Oh, missed. What a disaster that! And Givens unable to put the finishing touch after what was a howler from Stephen Ray Ellis there it really would have been a gift had Givens finished it off Stephen Ray there in disarray yeah but he eventually came to his team's rescue in the end Yeah, Devon Anderson cutting a cool figure, a composed figure in the stands. The Holy Trinity's present coach, Nicholas Stewart. Yeah, he looks like a stressed man. I'm sure he wants the this five minutes plus stoppage time to run off as quickly as possible. So he can maybe get a word with his troops ahead of the rest of their group games I think maybe the wind was knocked out of Ray for that save I'm sure he'll stay on though he's had a eventful game one might say 
Maybe a couple of shots that he could have saved that turned into goals. Did save a penalty as well. St. Catherine still looking for more. Well, let's see if they can get some more. Maybe a shot is Ralston Baker. Trying to give some directions to the rest of the team. Keep them in check. Taylor to take the throw in. Sends it deep. Cleared by Baker. Here's Taylor once more. Rajay Taylor on that occasion receiving it. Ball intended for Ronaldo Stewart. He played it out of touch. It's time for the Sportsmax app moment. And yeah, what a strike it was from Nathalie Ellis from distance. Beating the keeper, opening the account in the afternoon. Another look from another angle. Yeah, he was waving there, the keeper. But the driver left him. Nathan Ellis. A Sportsmax app moment brought to you by the Sportsmax app. Yeah, deserving there, I think. Nathan Ellis. We agree with you. <laughs> you have no reason to worry, Leger Williams. We agree we agree with you. I agree with you. Let me not say we. <laughs> no, no, no. We, we. Hey, hey. Oh, lots of dangers here, Redman. Trying to get in the thick of things. Ah. That was a crunching challenge there. Showing a yellow card. A flash of pink as well. Peter Bennett there on the end of, yeah. That's the challenge that from Kyron Gordon, the substitute. in tears love to see that challenge once more yeah writhing in pain is Peter Bennett here's another look ah very late and yeah there could be an argument that that is really dangerous play. Yeah, that's a red card for me. Yeah. Really high. That's a leg breaker. Or potential leg breaker. Yeah, extremely reckless challenge there by Kyron Gordon. Really lucky to still be on the pitch. Team up. Well, the fourth official indicates three minutes of time to be added on. And I reckon that Holy Trinity wouldn't mind if it was actually one. Here's Bennett. He's up on his feet. Tries to find Roe, but that's cut out. St. Catherine trying to press forward. Gordon. Redman. Unable to get on the end of it. Givens to Stewart. Stewart, few step overs, gets on the inside. Still Stewart to Gordon. Redman, 
Redman. Wayne Wiltshire. Unable to get on the end of that one. Certainly no fault of his. Still playing it short from the back. That's discipline, even under the kind of pressure they're under. Another corner. Yeah, the corner count, certainly. Significantly favors St. Catherine High. Taylor to take this one. 14 corners for St. Catherine High, one to Holy Trinity. Here's Taylor. Whips in across. Almost an acrobatic finish from Stewart there. Yeah, they're in easy street. They've been on easy street, really. We're just looking to close out this one. Yeah, from minute one, they've been extremely comfortable, St. Catherine. And nothing has changed throughout the 90. Still on his feet, Gordon sends it back, and uh, the referee Romario Francis has seen enough on this one. Zoni fixture inside the Anthony Spalding Sports Complex. Saint Catherine beating Holy Trinity. Six goals to nil. A brace from that man, Dwight Gentles, the 16-year-old. But he wasn't the only one. The substitute, Ronaldo Stewart, on your screen, got one, and he's yet a, from a wonderfully worked team goal. Watson there, he got one. Had a number of runs deep in the 18-yard box. And, well, this man, Nicholas Stewart, has been seated. We'll have a lot of talking to do. Anthony Patrick must be very pleased. Deserved winners are from the team from St. John's Road in St. Catherine. And a young team in Holy Trinity. Yeah, they'll have better days. But confirmation of the score lines here, St. Catherine 6, Holy Trini Trinity nil. the full-time score. Romario Francis sent the game in action and in the 19th minute of play, Nathal Ellis, audacious strike from distance, beating Steve Ray. Yeah, forget about XG. He expected to score that one. What a strike from distance. The sports max that moment. Another angle. And the beauty remains. Two minutes later, here came Jake Watson stepping forward, beating two players. Calm, composed, beating Steve Ray. And yeah, that was goal number two that in the 21st minute really did well to ride that challenge finishing the far triangle yeah easy does it in the end jack watson had a shout of triumph look at this touch from dwight gentles wow what a first touch the follow-up was good 
his, at the time, 12th goal of the season, Dwight Gentles, the 16-year-old, doing well for St. Catherine High School. Yeah, another look at that one. That was the first half. And Steve Ray unable to clear well, sent it only to Young, who had a great shot, sight and goal. Look at this snapshot from Gentles. The second half, much of the same would continue. Great run that from Gentles, finished with a plum. Had a bit of an injury scare there, but the composure to finish under pain. Yeah, that's the kind of clinical finish you want, even when someone is in pain. I thought it was a an attempted celebration, but recognize it really was pain. Look at this team goal now. Back heel from Young. Lifted into the area. And Ronaldo Stewart had a beautiful header. He's the second of the season. Ronaldo Stewart, the substitute, came on for St. Catherine. That was goal number five. And goal number six in the 82nd minute. Levon Taylor with the corner kick. Nathal Ellis. As it was in the beginning, so it was in the end. Finishing scoring on the afternoon. His second. And six goals of a St. Catherine High in this Zone E fixture. Comprehensively beating Holy Trinity. And the referee had seen enough. Here are the full-time match statistics. 41 shots, 35 of them to St. Catherine. They had 18 on target, only one on target for Holy Trinity. Nine fouls committed by St. Catherine, three for Holy Trinity. One yellow card for St. Catherine. They're lucky. Could have been a red card from my vantage point. 14 corners they had, one to Holy Trinity. Ten saves made by Steve Ray. And 70% of the possession to St. Catherine with six goals to their credit. And yeah, standing by now for the Sportsbacks Man of the Match. Kimani O'Sullivan has that man. Thank you, Dean. I'm joined by MVP, the Sportsmax MVP, Nathal Ellis of St. Catherine. This belongs to you, sir. Congratulations. Talk to me about that goal. Once you got it on top, you look down, you look to the net, bam. Talk me through it. Well, the keeper was off his light, so I take a clear shot. And in terms of pulling the strings from deep, as a deep-lying playmaker, speak to me about your role in the team and what your coach tells you to execute. He, he, told, I, he, do, he told me to stay in the midfield and play the ball wide. In terms of that devastating weapon you have up front in your teammate, Gentles, how good is it to play with a striker that's banging in them for fun? Well, he's a good player, no? but when he gets a chance, he's going to score. That is it. And you're just confident he's going to put them away every time? Yes. All right, thank you, Nathel. Congratulations. All right, that was man of the match, Nathel Ellis of St. Catherine. I'm joined now by the Holy Trinity assistant coach. Three points conceded to a team you are chasing down in the standings. How big a defeat is this? Uh, well, you just mentioned it down. It's a down feeling. Uh, as I mentioned in the pre-game interview, uh, a lot of inexperience. And it's uh, today, the game. And we could call it consistently inconsistent. Based on how we played a lot of force errors and but give credit to the St. Catherine team. They're well drilled, physically they're in it and tactically also. How damaging was that injury to UE Brown to what you wanted to do? Well, to uh, he got an injury in preseason and it got a little bit shaken up. So it cost us but um, just something small. Any update on him? How is he doing? Right uh, well, he's been gone to the hospital. Um, nothing really serious but just have him some medical checks. All right, thank you coach. All the best. All right. All right, that was the Holy Trinity camp. Joined now by St. Catherine, the winners. Coach, they're on your tails. Only three points behind. Now you've dealt with them. How's the feeling? Well, as I said before, you know, it's a matter of, you know, thinking about who wins the zone, you know. But we, we know we, we're going to get the better of them today. But um, it's that uh, looking forward. Ahead. Asking about Gentles, 14 mm -hmm. from 
as much as four games, five games now. How impressive is he? Speak to me about him. Well, um, still not there as yet. Still not there as very, very young. This is first season at centre forward. You know, now this is third year in the, in the competition at age 16. I've been playing outside the father for the first two seasons. Now I've put him at centre forward, but still, you have a lot to work to do with it. Well, you've dealt with Trinity, as I said. All eyes on Mona and that first part now. Ah, as I said, um, it's about who wins the zone. You know, we, we are looking for, for that return game. Thank you, Coach. All the best. Thank you very much. All right, so here's the Zoni table. Mona still leading with 15 points from five games. St. Catherine, 12 points. Holy Trinity, six points. All of those teams having played five games. Norman Manley, Inswood, Edith Dalton, and St. Mary's College round out the rest of the table. And yeah, that's it for the first of uh, the doubleheader here at the Anthony Spalling Sports Complex. St. Catherine High, six. Holy Trinity, nil in the Issa. Did they sell Manning Cup? Yo, Issa. My schoolboy football look this season. People are ready, you know. All right, then. He come. Manning Cup. Only for your shield, you make me link up. See what the champions cup. Ben Francis, what the cup which team are winning the championship this season. Yo, Issa. For one day, my school, I got finished the league and beat them. Which you that got collected the gold and boat and be the favorite with the people. Yo, Issa, me see fans are rolling out all about the flag crown vehicle. Looking at the crowd, but load of supporters from school and community too. People nothing at the stand, some are listening to prayer, they must have a watch it on TV too. Country and turn your night be one reason. Issa, school boy football, good job, look what look on. Which team are the best and are the best and 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 the best Competition and never have been nice up. People love see when boy I get nice up on the field. I'm gonna score from far and them love with peaceful and the youth now. Yo, it's a school boy football, no local. The youths are moving to international big league. And I still people are but member which party start. It's a school boy football. Run from look one look on. Which team are the best and 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 the best and